Bristol Sound and Vision Show 2008. So we're with uh, Steve Riker from Armour Home and uh, you're showing the Q acoustic speakers here and you were wanting to speak to us to tell us all about them. So here we are, let's see what Q acoustics is all about. Well, we certainly did feel, yes. We, we believe that this, uh, slightly sweeping statement now, I think the most important thing to, to hit home cinema since the invention of the DVD itself. DVDs, of course, enabled everybody to have wonderful movies at home. Um, the Q Acoustics QAV system actually makes it desirable and in a, well, let's face it, blatantly non-PC way. This is the first system that you know, all us guys, our wives and girlfriends, will allow us to have the system in the room. Because the whole idea is the system effectively disappears. It doesn't literally disappear, of course, but what it does, it's so disguised that people just you know, don't see it in the room at all. Um, and we're also using, to, to achieve that, um, we're able to do it because it's the world's first use of BMR drive units, balanced mode radiator drive units, which have all the, the pistonic motion of a conventional drive unit to give you that attack and um, you know, thump and, and spark that you need to see in home cinema. But also, the gives you a near 180 degree um, sound dispersion, both horizontally and vertically. Uh, and that can mean so we can be very inventive where we put, for example, the rear speakers and indeed the front. The rears can be put down right down on, on, the, on the skirting board or right up high on the coving, so it makes it very easy to wire, but you still hear everything within the room. And also there's no hot spot, it's no those gone are the days when Dad's going to sit in the best chair and everybody gets terribly excited, nobody else can wonder why the hell you know, is going on. Um, with, the, with the QAV system, the hot spot is pretty much the whole room, so everybody hears it um, from where it is. The speakers also come on a, on, a, on a bracket on the front and that bracket can be adjusted both width-wise and front to back it, so it will perfectly match all front uh, flat panel TVs from 37 out to 50 inch and the grill assembly is like on a, on a sort of trombone uh, a slide and with the elastic uh, front, stretch front so you can actually disguise it so it looks as though the LCR the front three speakers just become part of the television. And we've been doing demonstrations here to, to, to packed houses here at the, at the Bristol Show, I'm delighted to say thank you. Um, and quite so many people come up to me and say, what are we listening to? Where, where are the speakers? And I'm like, well, well, thank you, that's precisely, that's why we've done the whole thing. It really, really works. We've even disguised the subwoofer. The subwoofer is wall mountable, purely for aesthetic reasons, to make it look smaller, to put it above the skirting board slightly, so you can again run the cables on the skirting board. We've made it in white, we've made it a slim flat type design. So it looks like, for all intents and purposes, like, a, like a, a wall heater or a radiator or something. It looks like something you expect to see in the room, as opposed to a conventional subwoofer that tends to be rather ugly and very alien to the room. Um, you know, they say on 24 and all those approaches, all the bad guys, hiding in plain sight, I think is how we describe it. So everything is camouflaged, and it, you know, of course it's still in front of everybody, but they don't see it because it just disappears and it's merged in, within the equipment that it's used with. The sound quality we're truly delighted with. I think this whole system is so clever that, frankly, it was going to be a winner even if it was only like, you know, not so good. But in fact, the design, uh, the sound from it is, well, you'll hear it later, absolutely phenomenal. There's a 120 watt amplifier in the subwoofer with an eight inch long throw base in it. It's an analog amplifier in there. The price of it is only 600 pounds for the whole thing, including the patented bracket that, the, that allows the slide and the matching and the bracket for the subwoofer and the brackets to put the uh, um, rears up high or low, 600 pounds for, for, for the whole thing. Um, and that enables, with that bracket, that's all you need if your TV is already on the, on the wall. It comes with a great little um, template that you marry up with the TV, mark the holes, bingo, drill them, on it goes. If you want to put them on a, a table stand, then we, wonderfully we can get some more money from consumers uh, because they'll need to have our table stand, which allows, with the conventional ones, with like Pioneer or Panasonic, there's not enough space underneath it. So we need the proper one to put it up so the TV can be elevated a little and then our uh, LCR bracket can go underneath it. Now, how much research and development actually went into devising this system? 
Rather a lot. I mean, this is the world's first use of these BMR units. Um, the technology is licensed from NXT, but they've never actually you know, brought it to market. Uh, we have. Not surprisingly, they're delighted. They were showing it uh, to their shareholders and at uh, the recent uh, CDA show and CES shows in, 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 in America. Uh, a lot of uh, technology has gone into that. Um, we're, our main design um, affiliate is in Germany, and I've been the man getting up at 3.30 in the morning and you know, getting into Stansted at 5 30 and flying out and doing all the, um, the golden ears, all the listening and adjusting on that. Uh, my other colleagues um, on the industrial design side, uh, they've, they were the ones who came up with all the patented brackets to, to adjust it so we can hide it all. It's been a, we've done it actually quite quickly. It's about 14 months, you know, in the design to market. Um, it's available uh, in the first week of March here, so out in the shops, and I'm pleased to say we've got quite a lot of back orders already, and everybody's been very excited. We've seen a lot of dealers here at the show, which is good news for us. A lot of people, we've been talking to them about it, but this is the very, very first time they've been able to hear it, and they're all going, goodness, that, that, that's much better than, you know, than we thought it was going to be, and we're going, yes, we told you, didn't we? But, you know, they don't believe us. Um, where can they go to find out more information about Q-Acoustics? Well, well, if they go onto the Q-Acoustics website, www.qacoustics.co.uk, um, they can come up with a, a dealer listing there. Any Q-Acoustics dealer will be able to demonstrate it from them, from, you know, give us a couple of weeks, because uh, they're only coming into us uh, uh, next week. They'll be in the shops first week of March. Uh, Steve, it's great to see you again. Thanks very much for taking the time to speak to us. Great to speak to you. Thank you, Phil. Bye.